Hi, I'm Andre Minkoff. I'm the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to share with you yet another trademarking screw up. This time around, it's Boozy Badass trying to trademark his haircut. No! I'm going to read some of the article and I'm also going to post little snippets of his interview because it's just freaking priceless. Okay, so Boozy Badass wants to trademark the Boozy Fade haircut. Okay. Boozy Badass's signature Boozy Fade haircut has made part of the Louisiana rapper's style his whole career. It's been talked about in interviews, mentioned on songs, and now the Heartless Hearts rapper is trying to capitalize off of it if he can. Yeah, he recently gave an interview and the topic of possibly trademarking his signature haircut came up. He announced he already has the ball rolling on the idea. Oh my god. He's got the ball rolling. Okay, actually just listen to a few snippets from that interview. Your haircut still matters to a lot of people with the boosty fade. Right. Have you got your haircut trademark? Not yet. I got Miss Vanessa working on it. We on it. Yeah. Yeah, we own. What people have to do with you, they have to pay you to get the haircut or like they can't wear it? Nah, I ain't gonna go that far. It's just like, you know, if you go on movies and, you know, things like that, that's gonna be successful. I gotta file on you and put my lawyer on you. You gotta I ain't put gonna the hate lawyer. on you. Hell yeah. For the haircut? Hell yeah. So just anybody think... with the boozy fade right now, you see this, is this famous no, boozy no, fade? No, no, no. I, I said I ain't gonna, gonna take hit. it. No, I said I ain't gonna take it that far. You good. You ain't better than me, but you good. <laughs> I say, but if you go to, you know, to Hollywood, motherfuckers, you know, doing $60 million movies and the boozy fade, a big part of that, that project, I want you. Okay, so any directors, <laughs> you're gonna sit there and hit them? Yeah. Easily. Yeah, same thing if somebody take Marvin Gaye's song. I started, did this mine? Now all of this makes absolutely no sense from the trademarking perspective. It's either a PR stunt or his lawyers are really taking advantage of the poor guy. Because he is never gonna be able to enforce that against anybody, whether it's in real life, in concerts, in movies, or in any other situation. I mean, he might be able to get a trademark registration certificate that's either going to say the name uh, or it's going to have a picture. Uh, but the question is, he'd only be able to enforce that against somebody using the name or that same picture on the actual products. He will never be able to enforce that against actual people deciding to adopt the same or similar haircut. Now I hope you found it curious and if you did, well guess what? I post these videos every single day, Monday to Friday, sometimes on weekends as well. So subscribe now, get notified whenever the next video goes live. And if you got a brand that you want to protect, but please don't come to us asking if we could help you trademark your haircut. We're not going to do that. So if you got a real brand that you want to protect, go to TrademarkFactory.com, book a call with our strategy advisors, and they'll be able to walk you through the process. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.